On the phone, said, buddy. You guys probably remember this from last time. So we got a character. This is what you're going to do. Soon as you look. Soon as you look. YouTube. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> Edit that out. So this, this is Saul's. Mine is on that one. Yours is on that one. I don't know if anything is on that one. But I have to go check. It's about 30 minutes. Okay. So we got a software downloaded and everything. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to Fuse. You're going to pick any character you want, actually. All right? And Wait, just grab a head. Any one of, any? A zombie. So, you have to make him a zombie. There's, I don't think there's a zombie preload. It's a great So, like, can you, like, change, Jail like, paper. skin color by, like, uh, my color real? Right, and you can change. Let's see, can I go to Customize? You can go to face and I think you there's complexion somewhere over here. Let me know that click the place wow. No, so if we go on Maya there's another way. But this way we would come in here and you would just simply choose a complexion. These are all the colors that affect them in some way or another, right? I don't know all of them. Eyes, lips, until you can change them. This was how you would modify them. Keep that file in the Maya or write in the game. The only reason we wouldn't take them and write in the game because I don't think it has a skeleton. So we have to go to mix them over and put a skeleton in. And we didn't do this whole body torso, blah, 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 blah. Right. So Maya open up. Maya open up. all these long for now because I don't know how to go to test and desktop. Test bits. Oh, no name. Uh, face. One hundred. So back in the import, right? OBJ dot import. There you go. So now you got your head, right? I a lot of times get rid of his lashes. But you know, that's up to you know, things. Like for now, instead of deleting it, I'll just put them on a double layer. Right? And then what would we do to so think about the assignment we were talking about from last week. We would go to an image plane, desktop. What did I call the image first? Like you probably remember the W key and the R, what is it? 
W, E, and I. That's the case in there. But they'll show, they're guys that show. We all show you what to use. Scale it up. So it's roughly the same size as the character. And then turn the grid off. Just so we can see clearly. Come up in perspective view. I like to move the guy kind of out of the way. And then if we had the other views, because the way you would do this, you would have a front view, a side view, and that may be all you need. Maybe a top down view, but I don't, I don't see why you need that for him. And what we're going to do is attempt to make him look more like that. Right? So can we like uh, shape his head? We can do it all. We can do almost anything we want now at this point. This where, so if you know how to make a human head, and you model a whole human head, then for you, it's going to be kind of easy to modify. But also, if you're just a beginner, it's going to be easy if you understand the tools. This Mike, we played with the tools a little bit yesterday. So we're going to go to Vertex. Remember Mike, we did that last week, right? For the Vertex. You can use the paint tool if you want, or you can use the selection tool. Right now I got the paint tool. Can you see how big my brush is? See the circle? To me that's too big. So I'm gonna hit the B key and I'm gonna scale it down. And I got a smaller tool, right? And I'm gonna paint the vertexes I want. I'm gonna hit the W key and I can move his nose out. Alright? So what you're trying to do is very slight changes to get them to look more like that. Whatever you know, whatever you're trying to do. See how his nose is a little bit smaller? So I would grab that and slightly move it out. And when you're moving it, you're thinking about what you don't want to move at the same time as what you do want to move. So I would slowly move that out. And then you can do both sides or you can do one side, delete one side, mirror it over, put it back together. I would say, say I did that for his head. Then I say I want to make his lips. See this guy's lips is more fuller. So I would go to object mode to come out of vertex. Right? Remember when we did one half. I would come in here. I could pick either faces, which is with the paint tool, which is his lips, or I can pick vertex which was the little dots. Now when you're doing that, one thing you're looking for at the same time is to make sure you're not picking faces through. Like you're moving his lips and all of a sudden when you finish all this great work, you look at the back and he got a big knot on the back of his head because you've been moving that at the same time. So you gotta be careful of that. So I'm gonna undo that and go back to object mode. And the only reason I'm going back to object mode is because I want to select a little meter than outside of his lips. I don't want to mess with his outside of his lips. So I'm going to go to face again. I'm going to grab the paint tool. It's too big. I'm going to hit the B key and I'm going to scale it down. Get it real nice and tiny. I'm going to go pick two just because when you have something already select, you need to pick just one and then unselect all the others. I'll go to paint. I'll get in there really close. And I'm going to paint just his lips. And then, if the complexion of his face is kind of throwing me off, I'm going to hit the number 5 key. And now I don't have his color. If I want his color to come back, I hit the number 6 key. All right? So I'm going to hit the number 5 key, just in case that's throwing me off. And, if it's throwing me off at the same time, I can hit the number 4 key so I can see through. Mm -hmm. But, 5 is good because it's so complex, I don't want to see through. And I'm going to just pick the rest of his lips. And this is where, even though we're doing detail work, we're doing the work we would have had to do a month after we made our own face. So what it took us a month to make, say I was making little Chris's face, and it took me a month to make it, and then I would have sat there for another couple of weeks, maybe months, until I was happy, doing slight little detail work. But now, because we have a model, we're just fast moving it and doing detail work. And I can make you believe this is Joey, just by changing the, the how dark skin he is, 
changing the shape of his lips by having Joey's picture in there and slowly getting him to Joey. And then I might make Joey hair, which I would do a stylized Joey hair. I would do a spike hair, but it wouldn't look exactly like, but it would be enough that people would say, oh, I see he's got the Afro thing. And I could put a mustache on him. I could have put the mustache on him in Fuse before I brought him over. That would have made a little work easier. I wouldn't have to stylize a mustache. Which we, maybe we'll take a look at that. Because I can choose if I want them to have thick eyebrows, uh, fuller lips, a mustache, a beard. I can put a beard on him. I can change his eye color, everything over the fuse before I even bring him over. Which is doing half the work for us, right? So sad. kind of only caring about one side but if you want do both sides get them real close and then you don't have to delete mirror over that's up to the artist because now what we're talking about now we're actually uh, passing over into what you would be called a real 3d artist now we're becoming 3d artists uh, might be really technically you're a 2d artist i don't do you draw the sketch you're at the beginning phases of a 2D artist, right? Of course, that can go to a whole nother level, but we're at college and all that. Now we're at the beginning phases of a 3D artist, which will go to another level. Now we did that. Now just for fun, I'm going to hit the R key. Because I got enough of proportion equally all around, I can scale his lips up bigger at one time. Right? I can hit this and scale his lips up bigger at one time. I'm going to put his lips about right there. I'm going to go to vertex. I'll be a little sloppy. I'm going to grab the top of his lips right there. Hit the W key. And go here. And we are in. I'm looking for my settings. I am in. The component. World. See, world just took it up straight. Component had him looking kind of off to the side tilt. So I went to world and I'm just going to move his lips up a little bit. Now, right there, I'm being kind of sloppy. I didn't want to move that up to the right now. Right? Now, if I go to object mode, close this, click off of, and hit the number six key. I got a guy with full lips. You know what I mean? And you would slowly do that. You can even do that with his ear. You can take the vertex. You might grab his ear. I'm going to do something severe now, just being simple. You can grab his ears out and make them bigger ears or smaller ears, whatever you want to do. You know? And then what you're trying to do is slowly get it to the point where this character is now your character. We don't want him to look like the Fuse character because everybody's going to recognize the Fuse character, right? We're trying to get up get over that so maybe over here I go to um, custom text texture his face teeth eyes facial hair right and let me see if I remember how to add picture uh, this is uh, buzz number two right drop down and go short and it's changing his hairstyle. Alright. And go uh, number six. Now he's got a ball head. Alright. I can go to lashes. Now just it's only two lashes in there, so I'll just pick that right. And now he put a different lash on. I can go to mustache. And I'll pick mustache number two. Now he has the boot. The kind of Chinese looking little mustache. Then I can go to that. And you can just get keep going until you get something that you want. A little beard. And he's got like a, a little growth coming in. Let's see if we got something a little heavy. See now his beard is a little heavy. And you can do all your modifications over here, then go and uh, Maya. And keep moving on 
and then you get some proposal, right? So you try to get the hairstyle you want, the facial features you want. Even here, before I go over there, I could have went to the custom. So I think over here, if I want to go face, I'm looking for nose. So maybe it's head, eyes, skin, skull, nose, right? So here's this nose. Click on this. this no, it should be updated, but I don't see it updated. So maybe it's something I gotta activate in order to mess with this nose. Oh, there it is. Boom. Right. So even though that's crazy, severe looking, now here's the cool thing. That looks like Mikey nose. No, what? <laughs> 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 I just do it in the market show. Here's the thing. Real fast, this guy's not going to look like the guy we originally started with. Right. Now he's your character. So that means that we can take this same man's head, and Mikey's man head look totally different from Joey's head, and you got your own guy in, in the game. What you want to do is get him close as possible to what you want over here before you go into Maya, then make some more details so that you really can dive in. in to who you want it to kind of look like. And what you might do, like for instance, if you don't have anybody in particular you're trying to make it look like a real person, just get a movie star or something like that. Somebody you know after and model them. Like I did with Tupac here. So you can put Tupac in the game. As long as they don't sue And then again, yeah, so then you would bring him over here and then you would make the rest of the right? So now we're all going to do that on the computers for ourselves as long as we have a loaded. If they're taking too long to load it, uh, we'll go back to doing research and one at a time I bring you guys over and just play with it. And now I'll go back to research. Yeah, I'm dropping off. That's your mother. Yeah, I like mine because she ain't never been done to test it. Oh, yeah. I tested that, but she probably didn't see it. I tell you what, Joe, you can take this computer. Next time. I can minimize that damn thing. See, then there's a gun there. Let me sit down there. Come on, let me sit down there. Don't get it up, so I got his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up, save your eyes. We have to save your bird. Oh, wow. Let's make this lag. I don't want to miss the word. Oh, it's nice. Yeah.
trying to make small movements, really. You know what I mean? If you want to do a real big movement, you have to pick his nose in part of his face.
that would have been better to get them straight from cues, put them all in the folder at the same time. So you don't worry about his uh, his uh, complexion right now. Just keep on working. similar to what I'm showing you with Fuse. It's a quick way to get your uh, stuff up and running fast. It's a program. Real simple. It's actually the way I did my uh, killer bots in uh, the game that I developed. We done the export model is LBJ, right? It's OBJ, yeah. OBJ. Save 
saved it to uh, put a slide up on desktop. All the way at desktop should be all the way at the top. Hold on, Mike, I'll be right there. Oh, see desktop? There you go. And then, yeah, just give it a name so you know you can find it. Uh, and one last And if I close mine and reopen it, I can bring my own face, I can bring my face into it, right? Don't close mine. Don't close it. What you can do is go to mine and go to new file. New. Don't say. There you go. Now import. Now you want file import. Wait, uh, what do you do? Okay, so remember you want a vertex mode or face mode. Now use the paint tool. This one? This one, yeah. Hover over so you can see how big the paint tool is. If you want it smaller, hit the B key and kind of drag it. That's bigger, if you want it smaller, go the opposite. If you grab it, the vertex is on the nose, and you can hit the W key on the other Okay. Came out like this. Just because it's low in the No, so hit the number. Oh, wait. So this. So this is what we need to do. Um, my mistake. Not a paper. Did, we just downloaded to the desktop, right? Yeah. We didn't make. We didn't make it forward. Mm -hmm. Did you close fuse? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So, make a, go to here. Why are you looking at that? So take it, import it out of this folder, and it's going to automatically associate it with this stuff. So go to Maya. Delete him. Just delete that here. Tag the input the eyes. Square. That's how you do it? Like that? Uh, no, you just want to go over it too much. Now, now, for fun, go, go back. Go back. Undo. Go back. Undo. What, what part of the space are you doing? It is that paint tool too big. Is that it? Mm -hmm. I don't see the whole folder. What did you Did we download the folder? Is that what we did? I think you said it's a desktop. Okay, so let's go to Fuse again. And it's um, export. I think it's going to come to some of the folder. Uh, name the folder. Join the folder. So what are you trying to do right there? Now hit the W key. And just move it to one side. See what I'm saying? I'm doing right here. Because what you want to do, just work on this nose. If you do too much, you can't control it. Like this. So we should. Thank you. 
do is make his nose appear to be bigger, but not way bigger. Not get the uh, six kilo feet now, over here. Yeah, you know, there's another way to do it. Hopefully this works. Now let's go to um, yeah, yeah. attributes. Uh, I think that did I import it right? Because I just went to, uh, I went to and I'm, when I normally do it, I have a folder that I'm importing it out of. Next uh, what we call your phone? I have a quick test. Where's the ah, so diffuse cross normal capacity? That's the one we want. We want them all. I'm trying to get this guy here. And that's the problem if you don't do it correctly. It's not that it's not correct, it's on there. But I don't want to see through his mouth. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That might be just a, uh, uh, so here, I'm going to pick a new shader, go down to assign new material. Yeah, look at I'm just going to pick this palm, over this palm, bow, this might be. What? I still want to do the same thing, so you got to have all of them. So the way I like to do it is, and this may or may not work, I'm not sure. But the JPEG was, I just noticed that the JPEG important. I need this in that folder, both of these in the same folder. I don't think, is that your guy or not? Mm-hmm. Here, George Holder, the OBJ is in there. So I, I'll play with it and figure out why yeah. it did that. Could do it too much and the other thing like add to me like details and mess it you up know what? here? Because when I brought that other head in, it came right in, didn't it? Yeah. Without all that other stuff. No, I don't think that that's what hurt it, but now that you said you, you mentioned that. I did like change his hair, change like it's like that. Yeah, yeah that's maybe that could have some this guy, he just comes in. So it's something that was changed on yet that, that messed him up. I don't know quite what it is. So yeah, whenever you change, you might want to keep it simple. Now here's the thing: I brought characters in just like you did before by changing them, mm -hmm. and had no problem. So it's got to be something you changed in the file that did mess with him. Okay. And it might have had something to do with his skin. You might have picked some setting in there that. Uh, I, you know what I did. I they changed a couple things in the skin too, so. And what you ch changed, you know, some of the things that, what, what was it that you did to that? <laughs> it 
since it looks like it has something to do with this the fuse, I wonder if you change it to fuse. Go to, go to uh, face. No, it's not going to go back to the original head. Let's see if it's skin. I would just set it back to however it was. To the original guy. Yeah. Yeah. I would start from there. Okay. And don't and just play with his complexion, colors, and stuff like that. Okay. Now if you want, you can change his nose early if you want and stuff like that. But I would I would do the bare minimum to him before I brought over the car. Alright. Alright, Mike, you all set? Yeah. Alright, so uh, open your mind file and save it. Just save it out. No or don't save it out. What I mean, the only reason you save it is because you want to keep them like you want to keep working. I made mean, his nose smaller. I mean, bigger. Okay, good. Now, just for fun, grab the edge of his ear and pull it over. Grab it here? Yeah. Set it down. Grab enough of it so that it changes his okay, That's just one. That's not good. Oh, okay. Let's put the pimple on his ear. Alright, do me a favor, Mike. Take it. Help him make his lips big. Okay. So what we got to do is we have to close out this one. So you gotta go to um, for the assemblies. You gotta put a body on there. And go to torso. Go all the way to the bottom of the torso. Go all the way down. Or is it uh, textures? Hit textures. Um, I would say pick him, but I don't think it's gonna bring clothes up because you don't have a body. Oh, so shop up the body on yeah, there. She didn't know built his whole body. Huh? She didn't know And when you're doing the body, what you're basically trying to see if he's going to be, uh, I like to say he's going to have a swimmer's body or a football body or a muscle building body. And a swimmer body is like a skateboard, slum kind of, Spider-Man kind of character. And um, what's called, a fighter's body would be something more like a, uh, maybe a Daredevil, mm -hmm. maybe Batman. Then you get Art, bigger because uh, the, the thing with Batman, Batman is supposed to be like six six. Huh? Right. Batman is supposed to be big, which is the fake part yeah. of Bruce Wayne stuff. Right. You see Bruce Wayne oh, over there, six six. Then you see <laughs> Batman. Well, Batman got on the combat boots, so he might look more like seven foot. Right. Like, right. like, however, size. How do you make it? How do you like just go um, like move the camera up? Is that camera? Really I good? think maybe we we'll see if it works the same as mine. Right? So, yeah, it does. All yeah. shift. You gotta hold on off the ship and do the three mouse buttons. Right? If you're turning, you don't have to do anything. But the off shift for uh, up and down. Oh, 
Wait, you said off, off, off ship? Off oh, ship, hold them at the same time. And then? It will be middle mouse button, I think. Hold the middle mouse button down. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so Isaiah, you got the basics of how you're going to manipulate a face, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you really get deep in this, like you get the software at home, because here's the thing, and, and I'll share this guys, but I looked up, it used to be one college or university had video gaming as a sports team. Now it's 20. There's 20 colleges in America you can go to and be on a video game sports team. But you got to take a major because you're going to college. So you're going to take computer science, Video game design something so you can stay on the team or you're gonna put you up the top. So let's say for instance that um, you like video game, but you really love playing the board and making. But you can't get on the sports team unless you go to college. So you gotta take something to get to college. So you might have to take something that centers around video games. So that's why you want to learn this. And then let's say just like any other sport, you try to go pro, but you can't go pro because you're not good enough. Not that that's going to happen to you guys, but now you need a job. Would you rather have a job as an auto mechanic changing tires, or would you rather have a, a job making video games? Making video games? Choose your poison. So it's better to learn this than to go learn how to take tires off the time. All right, now you guys are good, so you can go back and research. And now what's really cool too, Joey, about this, you can modify the jacket, but more importantly, you can modify it when you get the mic. So I switched it up, like if you go to combat, my, my Chris's character basically has on combat bottoms, mm -hmm. a jacket, that, but I know how to model, a jacket that I brought over. I stripped that jacket down and make it as simple as possible. I put gloves on and I made my own uniform. I put, I made my own like skeleton, skeleton like, um, protective framing around him, and mm -hmm. now you can't tell where I even got his uniform from because I changed the color and everything. Once you learn how to manipulate this stuff, it just gives you so many shortcuts to uh, developing your own characters. How do you, how do you, start? all right, I think I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. it, do you need a computer back? <laughs> My bad. No, no, what do you, you want to do? I kind of just want to start over. I think I know how to do it. How do you, this, this got a new file? Yeah. And the cool thing about the remember this is free. You can download this on your, your, your laptop. This is free? This is free. So oh. that means when you make a character like you just did, and you say like I want to do something different, just save him into his file. And when you go back, there'll be like six of those guys. Oh, boy. Sure. 
Is how do you is there a way to link up the face and their body so you make so whatever like color changes you make? Nah, that's the only thing. thing. So they don't do it at the same time. You have okay. to, you're gonna have to come back and, and do his body next to it. Okay. 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 Okay.
<laughs> oh, but you know what? I got a solution for that. Undo that. Undo that. Control Z. Control Z. So I do have a solution. Oh, he, wait a minute. He's, he's not. He's picking his one piece. That's the first thing. So we needed to go to the torso to do that. What torso did you pick? Do you remember? Yeah, I think this one. Ah, he's all connected now. So maybe we can... Oh, okay, but there's no skin here now. That's what it is. Changing the size of something, right? Maybe if you got a texture. If not, there's another way to do it anyway. Now that's just doing his head. So I got a solution for that. You have to bring him to Maya. Okay. Because when you come to Maya, you can change anything you want to do outside of the software. So that's the limitation of the software. We're figuring it out when we mess up with Like you can change the color because obviously it's pants because it's Oh, you can? 
how you do that. So I, there, I think you have to go to uh, clothing, I think. Pick the pants. Hey, how you Hi. doing? How are you? All right. How'd it go? Oh, great. Good. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. I don't know. Do, do, does Dana ever share in the videos they do? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's tons of videos. Okay. And, uh, Hi, Isaiah. So today, uh, I had the head talk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, Isaiah. 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 Hi, but so what they learned today is, is, is two things. They learned first to pre-make their person. I might have told you to make a, a human character it takes a long time. Yes. Right? So if you make your own human character to get them to that, it may be six months. For sure. Now they have these new softwares you can get a character used to. You go in here, pick a character, it's limited, but you modify them in here a little bit. Then you take them, pull up my one for that. Uh-huh. Pull my uh, software you work with. Or Joe, I mean, Mike, pull up. I said, get your stuff together so I can see what you were doing. Yeah, go ahead, keep working. I mean, pull it up with mine. Yeah. So, okay. there you go in that software, right? So, they got that man's head from here. Oh, okay. They downloaded it to the desktop and then uploaded it in the second software. Okay. And that software, they can manipulate the man further. Wow. So they can manipulate him in here, but only so far. But let's say, for instance, one day we're this Say he wants to make, uh, this is a male character, but he wants to make a sister or you with that boy. Right. You would go here, pick a character to look close to you or his father or his sister. Oh, okay. And then. He would try to make it look, really look like you over here by right? picking the skin color, okay. the hair, the mm -hmm. body shape. But then he would go in here and fine tune it because he couldn't get your uh, maybe your eye, this here, cheek. He couldn't get the lips perfect over here. Okay. But over here, if he stick set here for a month and slowly with a picture yeah. and wipe out, right? He would make you. Pretty much. Wow. I've done it with my son Joel. Now, that speeds up the whole process of making a character. Something yeah. would have taken a year, not to take a month. For sure. Yeah, so that's what they're doing. Now, Tack up that. Like I said, Joey just is a little bit more advanced. Or just he just wants to, you know, because he really he's put his, his uniform together now. Oh, yeah. That's it. Can you look at Avatar take over back there? No. Oh, okay. That's enough, that's enough 
Yeah, I can see it in the little bits that trickle to the city. I, I, yeah, I can't do the whole thing. It's too much. When I first, you know, when I first nice to take the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know the African World Festival is this weekend too by the Charles H. Wright Museum. Now is that different from the one that the music was just so different? Okay, so there, that's the Reds and Soul on Heart Plaza, I think. This one is the African World one where, you know, it's mostly African vendors, drumming, dancing. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm that. And it's super crap super crowded. Oh. So be prepared to be shoulder to shoulder. Right. Yeah. And the heat. And the heat. Yeah, bringing all your ethnic to the island. I know we should have got it. I don't know sometimes. Been in North America too long. That ain't him. We had too many cycles over here. Isaiah. Okay. Okay. You gotta shut it down, man. You can do it again when you get home. It's hard. Right. I know. World's coming so down. hard. Oh. The heart surgery it has to stop. Mm -hmm. You got a little baby heart on the table. That's why I also tell my son, uh, try to do something you can make. If you want this, if this is the lifestyle you want to live, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, expensive. for sure. So, figure this out. Want to download the latest $65 game and wear the hottest sneakers, you're going to have to play for it. Yeah, your money got to be solid. Yeah, that's right. 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 It's so funny because I work with a couple of guys who might be like 25. Okay. So they from the whole thing. They they gay. They, 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 they married too, right? So they married. Oh, oh. Well, I, you know, okay. So they not us. Yeah, for sure. So they married. We oh, whole nine yeah. yards. They live this whole um, lifestyle, still being married, but I mean, they making seventy five thousand dollars a year, sitting at the jobs during the daytime, and three D money. So we do this all day, and then we go off work, and we go do this some more. Wow. So I, wow. You get, and here's the thing about our job, why the job is perfect for these kids. We work on a monitor, three monitor problems. We have three monitors. Mm -hmm. One monitor is on YouTube. The other monitor is at work. The other monitor might be the website the job. So they allow us at work to watch YouTube all day while we work. All day long. You know, Amazing. The job is made for these kids. Yes, for sure. Because the attention span, you told these kids today they had, they couldn't do, get on their phone. I mean, we have our phones here, mm -hmm. headphones on, oh my God. YouTube playing. Because you know, when I play an old R&B song that might be six, seven minutes there, I'm like, oh my God, it's so long. Why is it so that work, that work long? Or? No, in my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, their attention span is this long. Two minutes and they're done. That's the only bad thing I work with. We, uh, and these are white guys. White guys playing R&B and stuff all day long. Yeah, all for sure. Like, but you couldn't play with it. It's new music. You couldn't play with it. That's music? Oh, okay. No way that can go. Yeah, you got to tone it down. All right, we'll be here tomorrow. All right. I'd like to see you tomorrow. Yeah, All right, bye, Tomorrow we might bring a torso in, guys, and manipulate like he's doing his arms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then when we get off of that, the final weekend, we do the space lab and pick a nice guy. Okay. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yeah, sure. All right, you want, home, you want back on the plug in again? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later.